Before the game, Chris, Doc kind of joked that the first time you guys were in New York, he looked at Melo and Porzingis and Robin Lopez and was kind of astounded at their size. Um, you guys have had to play it small a lot during this stretch, but did you guys even feel even more tonight against a team that big? Um, yeah, I got switched on uh, Porzingis a couple times. I mean, he, he, he's a tall dude, and he can play. He's skilled and he knows how to play. And then Melo is Melo. Um, Robin Lopez plays hard, so. They, they compete every night. How have you guys had to counteract that? I mean, that's something you guys come up against most nights. They, I mean, you're going to be on your side. How have you guys kind of just gotta fought compete. that off? We just got to compete. You know, um, DJ is constantly helping everybody night in and night out, uh, blocking shots, protecting the rim. And, you know, sometimes you'll look at the box and see his man got a lot of putbacks. But a lot of times that's on us because we got to get in there and fight and try to help him because he's always covering up for us. Jeff ended up playing like 45 minutes tonight. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. Um, some part during the second quarter, I told JJ, I said, Jeff ain't been out. You know, and it, it's crazy because you couldn't tell. How, how much is this time now, and I know there's like 19, 18 games left, just help you get it kind of acclimated to him and what he can do and can't do? And, you, know, um, get in the you know, it's 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 tough sometimes, especially with a player as skilled as him, you know, transitioning it into the season because uh, a lot of times I'm always dribbling the ball and now I'm trying to tell him, you know, I will kick it ahead to you. You know, I want you to go. I want you to do this and do that and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, we're figuring it out as we go. Chris, you guys led by 15 in the third quarter. What specifically let them back in the game? On your um, fouls. Fouls and free throws and we weren't executing. But, I mean, what was it? I don't know. Those are free throws. I don't know. It seemed like we was fouling a lot. You know, but I don't see the fouls, so I don't know. It seemed like it was a lot of fouls, so a little. But it wasn't. Okay. Well, it seemed like we was fouling, and they was going to the free throw line all night, especially in that third quarter. Um, Doc kind of talked about this. Uh, you know, he'll pick, he'll have conversations with coaches around the league, and they have those relationships. I'm curious as a player, do you, when, do you do you talk to the guys you're close with, Melo, LeBron? Do you talk strategy with them throughout the season? Does that ever come up or basketball? Strategy? Sure. What do you mean? I mean, like, Doc will say, like, you know, Ty Lue has picked his brain here a little bit since he started. And I'm wondering if, whether it's about mutual opponents, whether it's that stuff, are you guys, are you having those conversations with your friends throughout the league? No, not really, not like that. You know, I talk to, you know, some of the, you know, our coaches and stuff like that and different things like that. We talk basketball, but. You know, we're not talking about which y'all scheme, which y'all plays, and stuff like that. No, I mean, but not about even like mutual opponents or anything like that. Yeah, sometimes. I mean, we talk about everything. I mean, I don't remember one exactly, but I mean, <laughs> yeah. Anybody else? All right. Go ahead on a high note. Last one. Chris, with the season winding down, how do you guys feel, you know, with? the chemistry blending and you guys, you know, gelling together, and especially with the anticipation of all the players coming back to play. Well, we're, we're doing what we can right now, but game to game, we don't know who's going to be out there. Um, we just make it do. You know, uh, we really miss Luke. Obviously, we miss Blake. We miss Paul when, he, when he's not with us and, and stuff like that. So we are just going to keep competing until we become whole again. Thanks, guys. Jeff.